Okay, so that's another successful week on Craftworks. Doom Raider is running well. Time to go home. I'll head down to the portal. Just a quick flight down there. Who is that? Is that Zinc? Zinc! And uh, I've got heaps to do in Effendale this week. Sink, wait for me! Damn, these portals are loud. I'm gonna talk to you about Doom Raider! Flea bag, flea bag. I'm home, I'm home. Oh, don't be too excited. <laughs> G'day guys, it's me, Zinkberg. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. Uh, I have heaps to show you at Effendale this week. I have been very busy. I'm going to go straight into a time lapse. Enjoy this. Doesn't that look impressive? Well, you're not going to know because I'm not going to show you yet. I need to head back to the tower because I've run out of iron, as you can see by the great big building behind me and the bridge. So I'm going to head back there, grab some iron, and let's get back into that bridge. Right, down to the sorting system. And let's have a look. Hello, puppy. What? Oh, your name's Fleabag. Hello, Fleabag. You're very cute. Do you, do you know where Zinkberg is? Wait, who is that? Millie? Zink, is that you? Millie? Zink. What are you doing here? This isn't... What? what this is my I, world. I mean, this I isn't... followed you through the portal because I was going to talk to you about Doom Raider and... Um, yeah, this is definitely not oh, Craftworks. It's um, definitely not Craftworks. No, this is no. yeah a little bit different to Craftworks. I thought I was the only person who could go through portals to get to other places. I, I didn't know you you were able to hop through portals too. Are you a mm. wizard? No, I'm not. I just oh. it just uh, one day I was standing here and I heard all the other members of Craftworks through my portal mm -hmm. and uh, started using it as a, a way through. Oh. Yeah. So is this where you live normally? This is where I live normally. This is the tower. Yeah, this is it. It's as I said, it's uh, it's very different to Craftworks. <laughs> well, 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 yeah. Like this place is enormous and a huge sink. But, mm. uh, oh, this is this is really cool. Um, yeah. You don't happen to know how those things work, do you? The portals. No, I yeah. no, I no idea. I just got lucky. I think. Mm. Maybe it's the okay. crystals. I'm not sure. Oh, that could be. That could be. Hmm. Huh. Weird. Yeah. Oh, oh. Speaking of people coming through portals and stuff, um, hmm. I saw Egbert yesterday. You saw what? Yeah, yeah. Egbert? He, he came on through. 
Yeah, he came through a portal and he talked to Oda and and Jitter. Where, Dad where in Craftworks? Yeah. Oh he, he came, no, he came Millie. by and we were all talking with the dogs and yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he was looking no, for no. you. This oh no, what, this what, is what, bad. Um, what, what do you? Well, uh, at, well, I guess at least he'll be new over there. He won't have any tools or weapons or anything. That's oh, uh, so about that. I I. I, I Gave him a sword. Um, oh, Millie. I thought he might. He might. Uh, it can be dangerous doing? on our server sometimes. You know, it's on hard mode. Yeah, it's going to be a lot more dangerous now. Eggberg's got a sword. Oh, no. Uh, oh, what have we done? So what are we going to do? The, um, anyway, um, do you want a tour now that you're here? Well, absolutely. Awesome. Okay, well, let's do that. <laughs> Uh, this is editing zinc here. Um, so we used a mod to get Millie into my world and get her walking around and things like that. And it works very, very well. Unfortunately, we had a few crashes and so a bit of data got lost and things. Basically, I took Millie around and showed her um, the builds and things like that and got a bit of advice as we went. So I'll show you some of that. I think this okay. path is too straight or something. It feels a little, I don't know. I mean, it goes really well with the walls, but it does feel like maybe it needs something on the other side to kind of. Yeah. So do you think maybe like, do I maybe have a look at doing the walls on the other side as well? Like, like make it a, a real, this is the. Yeah. I feel like this kind of like, like borders this area really well yeah but then you're right like it feels like it's missing something on this side on this so side, that's probably yeah. why it feels like it's too straight because it's not and it might be that it doesn't need a straight wall on that side maybe it just needs something curved or like like more like some kind of other border around it mm. yes or like yeah. a a round, maybe not a round fence, but kind of like a curving fence. That would give the illusion of this being more shapely. Hmm. It kind so of loses grand. its its grandeur when you look at it straight from the front, though, because you don't get the the size sort of thing. <laughs> well. well. <laughs> When you walk up to it, that's the important thing. Like, yeah. Just to see the sheer scale of this. Like, this is this is a block. This is, mm -hmm. I don't know how tall it is. <laughs> it is a lot tall. <laughs> that's the, the defined measurement is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot tall. So this is... This is what I did. So so if, if somebody is watching this video, like, out of character, like... I, I I made a little tiny itsy bitsy little house with with uh, with uh, diagonally with diorite and stuff, and this is like what you can do when you blow that up a thousand times. <laughs> and it's much easier when you go up a thousand times, like for for size and everything. It's oh yeah yeah for easier. detailing and giving it all the additional detail. Like if my yeah, like this... I had so many people like commented on my one little tiny diagonal build and i'm like no 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 <laughs> i that was basics that was like no no own it though because it is hard um so now part of uh part of you being here is this building over here i'd like some milli tips on this over oh. here so I had this with a little dome roof on it previously and I've decided to go up um, to make it more, uh, I don't know, like a little mini sort of towery sort of looking thing. A little more towery than, okay. mm. um, Oh yeah, your enchanting area. Yeah, the enchanting area. But um, is that another dirt block? Oh, I'm going <laughs> to... I didn't even see it. <laughs> Didn't want you enchanting at full level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that's right. So I think now, so with this, do you think the top needs, does it need another, you might need to free cam up onto that. Um, does it need another 
layer before I put a roof or do you think I can just squish a roof on and does the roof have to be blue or should it be dark or should it be what does your eye see with that build what type of roof are you planning another dome like before or were you uh, planning on doing more of a spire point yes <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know I, I thought maybe a dome if it has a dome it maybe like there's enough room there to build a little observatory on the top do you think with a domed roof that would be pretty cool to do an observatory so before we go on i just want to say a couple of things number one is as you can probably tell by that stuff with millie there i'm a little bit nervous <laughs> i don't get nervous very often um and, and for people who know me personally, it's a very awkward thing to hear me talking like that. Uh, one of the reasons why is I respect Millie in the highest regard, particularly in regards to building and all of that sort of stuff. She's a lovely person as well. But her tips and ideas, like I was so nervous of showing her what I had done. And it's hilarious to watch it back with all of that. So anyway, the other thing is, unfortunately most of the rest of the stuff that we did together just got so corrupted from from the disconnects that i couldn't continue showing it um i did build that observatory though let me show you over that and then i'll show you the bridge uh, so from the inside not much has changed we've got just a circular thing there um, i have not put a way up in this in this building but this is the observatory, as Millie suggested, adding another one of these sort of sized pieces up here and then going for this, the observatory. So this has, uh, it has at the moment a makeshift telescope inside, which is just terrible. It is the worst. I do a bit of astronomy and things and that is just hideous to look at. So we may not keep that telescope going there, but, um, but yeah, so we've got this great big building now, has a top on it, which is domed. It's got the waxed copper on the top, so it'll stay in that state. Um, and it's really come up. I, I, I really love the way this came out. I, um, it, yeah, it looks great. It looks beautiful. Um, let me have a sleep and then I'll take you over to the bridge and show you over what I did there. Okay, so we have the palaces down over there. This is up in the top section where the obelisk is um, and I've built a bit of a path this is the start of a path coming up and over here um, so this will be this will all be considered to be a part of the palace so so that's the idea up here the path will come down and then we've got the beautiful bridge here in front of us so as you can see we've got these spires behind me so I went through this thing of of trying a couple of different things I wanted some suspension bridge with with iron and things like that coming down and I tried slabs and things they didn't quite work either what I've ended up here with is just some straight spires and I I think they look great it's also got um, well it's also got some glass floors so you can look down underneath it and things like that it just felt like the right thing to do for a bridge of this scale and it comes all the way over to here now there is something to talk about with all of this and we'll go into that in a second but while i've got the shaders on and just showing you this i'll just fly out and i'll uh, spin around and show you the oh, show you the bridge so there it is in all its glory it it really came out beautiful um and as you can see i did a lot of work on the um on the surroundings of this lake or this river um really getting a lot in um i'm sorry for the short render distance but uh that's what we're with at the moment we're having a few little crashes and things which i think is just the sheer amount of blocks and stuff that i've placed is is putting a lot of uh draw on the on the graphics card and things um so we've got the observatory up there and then down here i've done Around the riverside, I've gone and dropped some bone mill down um, to give it uh, a very overgrown sort of look and then put down the mossy stone um, and the cobblestone and things like that around just to give it a really rocky sort of 
feel to it. You can see you've know, taken the flowers a little bit up the hills and removed a lot of the trees that were along the edges of the, um, the valley there. We'll fly back up over this way and hopefully the, the computer can handle it. Yeah, it just just looks really pretty and it's it's got a real feel to it. Um, and as I said, that bridge is just looking spectacular. Um, yeah, it looks looks really good as as a part of that as a part of that palace build. It, it looks really good. I'll go into free cam and I'll step back so we can actually have a look. Uh, but I'll go this way. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. That's the um, that's the sort of look of the bridge. Yeah, it's really pretty, really pretty. Um, and as you can see, the river, the river is really looking good. It's, it's looking very made, but that's the way I want it to be is it's going to be a really pretty area all the way through here. Um, so yeah, so as you come up this way to the, um, to the bridge it just looks gorgeous coming up here it's really beautiful let's get these shaders off so the computer stops screaming at me and let's talk about what we're doing so we have a couple of different areas right we have this area up over here which as I said this is all part of the palace so all of this here and the palace and down over that side and on this side we've got sort of the this is where the richer people live so the houses are going to be bigger and it's more spread out sort of more a rural sort of area i guess um and then back up over this side so the plan if we can pull this off and this is this is to give you an idea of scale and and what we're going to do we're going to run out of rockets so that'll be interesting um, is it's going to come down from the bridge and come over this side and all of this land that you see in front of you over here um, is all going to be part of a much more closely built city so all of this all the way over here and down here and all the way out to this water here so so this will all be part of the the big plan which is is to build a nice close built elven style city and and that's um that's going to take a long time we're in for a for a very long haul um as far as that goes it's going to take a long time to do um now the other things i did do and i better get myself some rockets so let me do that i'll drop down the ender chest and get those out uh, so I was having to fly back to the tower and back to here constantly and that was to replenish my iron stocks because I'm building so much iron you'll see above my head some iron that just disappeared um, let me show you why because I built an iron farm out here and it's been ticking along nicely and I've emptied it out a couple of times already um, but it's it's pretty good let's just have a look with the free cam um, so down in here we have the usual iron farm right so we've got uh, down in here we've got some villagers and we've got a zombie and they get scared and it puts a golem up there and everything's good um, now we have going down here another one here and we have another one here now the problem is apparently as I didn't know you can't really stack these things because it counts as a single village going up. Um, MC Odor in Craftworks sort of mentioned it and gave me the first seed of doubt and I looked into it and surely enough that was the case. So unfortunately it's no more efficient than a single golem farm <laughs> at Iron Farm but I had already put every, everything in place. Um, with each of these I've got a little um, dispenser sitting here that spits the iron out into a bubble elevator that goes up to the top um, so it shoots along here from the bubble elevator down into here into some hoppers that go along to these chests over here and if I was smart I would put a sorting system and things like that but I haven't done any of that yet so that's all good look we have a friend up there a little fox stuck on the hill um, and he's got a 
he's got a shrub in his mouth and he's very stuck. We might have to save him at some point. But anyway, so that's what I did. I built built a three-tier um, iron farm and just so you guys don't have to do it, you can now know that uh, there's no point to it. It's just, um, just build a single one. It's much easier. Um, so there we go. We've got some iron coming out through the thing above my head again and into the into the chest it goes, and it's all good. So it's not it's not too inefficient. Um, so that that was all of that. Now, guys, we have something very special um, happening next week. Um, so I watch a few YouTube videos, and I have watched. Um, many videos on how to try and make your channel better and all those sorts of things. And I've pretty well turned them all off and I'm ignoring them and I'm just doing my own thing again and, and enjoying it much more. Um, one that stuck in my mind was a video with Mr. Beast in it. And Mr. Beast made a statement and that was that your first 100 videos are really going to suck. Um, <laughs> guess what, guys? As of next week, I'm going to be amazing. Next week is my 100th uh, video on this channel. It does include a few shorts. It does include a roller coaster uh, video at the very start um, and a few thank yous and Christmas ones and all of that. But nonetheless, according to Mr. Beast, I'm going to be famous as of next week. So we'll all look forward to that. Um, I haven't really got anything planned as far as any sort of exciting things go. If there is something you guys want to see for next week, let me know in the comments down below. You can let me know, uh, do you want a Craftworks episode? Do you want a regular episode? Do you want um, me showing you around some builds? Do you want me to just go about it as if nothing has gone on and just <laughs> just get on with life? <laughs> that will probably be what I end up doing. Um, if you have an opinion, throw it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, guys, you guys are all amazing. Oh, before I do all of that, um, a huge thank you to Millie uh, for coming into my, into my world. Um, it was a fantastic experience to show her around everything and, and it really made um, really made for a lot of fun to, to invite a friend over and and uh, and get to show them what I was doing and things like that. It was exciting and and we got to deal with a little bit of lore which we'll uh, finish up just after this. And um, yeah, so a big thank you to Millie. Please check out her channel. She is fantastic and she's... Um, She's going to be famous, and I'm happy to know her. Um, so that's great. Um, guys, so thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. Thank you so much for all of the support, all of the comments, everything you do for me. Um, have a great week, and I will see you next week for a very exciting 100th video. Or not. <laughs> Maybe I'll stop. <laughs> All right, guys, you have a great week. Uh, thanks again, and I'll speak to you next week. Bye. Well, thank you so much for the tour, Zinc. This place is beautiful. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. It was good to have a visitor. Yeah, even though it was kind of a surprise, but... Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, while I'm here, mm -hmm. um, so I told you I kind of do portal hopping and stuff, too, mm. and... Um, so another one of my Millies has been telling me, and, and sorry, it's a whole different thing and don't worry about it, but she told me I have to fess up to people on the server before I go into season two, and that is to tell you that I'm a mushroom. And if that's okay, if I kind of keep doing stuff with you guys, um, if you're okay with it. A mushroom. Yeah. No, nope, um, I hate it. I'm not going to be a part of it. I'm, no. Ne oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> no problems with me. <laughs> I don't mind. I mean, that's where the mushrooms came from. They're, yeah, they're kind of yeah. my siblings, and I think they spread because of me. And, They're beautiful. Um, I love my mushrooms. Oh. Yeah, I've got well, them all so around all of my bases. Zinc. Yeah, absolutely. You're more than welcome uh -huh. to. Certainly, I mean, if everyone else says no, you can come and hang out with me. <laughs> well, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you so much. Uh, it's, it's such a relief. Um, you're the, prob well, not the first person to know. Captain Wishbone kind of was the first, but he kind of figured it out. Ah, um, I see. 
smart chap smart chap but i'm so glad to hear that yay um <laughs> Now I have to go tell some other people. Um. They'll be fine. <laughs> Everyone's going to be more than happy. We accept you as you are, Millie. Mushrooms Yay. and all. Well, hopefully I'll be able to figure that whole mushroom thing out and they won't follow me to the next season too, but we'll see. I don't know. Mm. Um, no promises. I don't but know anything about like... this season two of which you speak. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Part of my lore, but not part yeah, of yours. It's fine. fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when laws collide. Yeah. This thing that happens. Well, mm. I'm going to head back to Craftworks. I'll see you over there when you, you come on back. Do you need me to tweak the crystals there. or something? Uh, hopefully I could just make it just through. Just go through. Um, yeah, it, to, just, it I mean, just goes. This one just works You don't happen way. <laughs> to have like a weird little panel anywhere that has like a dial on it with different names. No, I had a weird panel once and I saw a doctor about it and it's gone now. I think we're talking Glad about different things. Taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I don't see any of the normal no, redstone and stuff. So, yeah, I think if I think about it really hard and the fact you can just come in and out, like you yeah, just yeah. go in and out and go, okay. Yeah. So it probably will be safe. So yeah, yeah. Yep. I will see you later, Zinc. Thanks, Millie. See you later. Bye. Bye. Say goodbye, Fleabag. Good boy.